Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new uh, process video for the HipKit Club and I'm working with the um, September kits and this page is for Mixed Media Monday. Um, I was in the mood to paint or to create some um, leaves. Some I was totally inspired by the pink Fresh Studio in Indigo Hills uh, papers and so I just grabbed one of the um, double thick white cardstock and the shimmers paints we got in this month and in the last month and so i started um, with uh, painting some very simple leaf shapes and um, the purple i used before is um, a shimmers and is a wisteria lane and that is included in the september kits and the blue one i'm using right now is oaky beer blue i think that's the inklings and um, all the colors I'm using today um, were part of the color kits in the previous month. So um, yeah, the blue tone is the Oki Beer Blue, it's the Inklings, <clears throat> and all of them are very uh, shimmery and very um, awesome. I really love uh, the colors. And the pink I just used um, to mix with the blue is um, a spritz and called Cotton Candy that was also included in the September color kit. And uh, yeah, I'm just painting, oh no, I'm not painting on um, the double thick cardstock. This is just the textured bezel cardstock, yeah. Um, the pink I'm using right now is um, going peach side and I'm mixing that with the Vibes, the mustard seed and we, uh, the yellow one is included in the September kits and the um, going peach side, I'm not pretty sure, but it's um, maybe the June or July kits, I, I don't know, <laughs> but um, all of them were included in some Hip Kit Club color kits. And uh, yeah, I'm just painting and um, just having fun and then I will um, grab my one of my black pens and I will just outline them. <clears throat> and yeah, like I said before, um, these leaves were totally inspired by the Pink Fresh Studio papers. But, uh, but I have done some pages with a uh, fussy cu cutting um, some of the leaves and the flowers and so I totally wanted to create my own and I really love how they are t they turned out and I really had fun and it's um, very relaxing and it's just um, very simple because it's not a difficult shape. Um, yeah, now I'm just adding some uh, matching splatters on top of the leaves and um, yeah, I like, I like how that is looking. <clears throat> And now I'm grabbing a fine line, um, adding a black pen and I'm just outlining all of the leaves. I will, um, I'm just creating some uh, clusters of the leaves and some single ones. And um, I will also went, uh, I will also fussy cut all of them out because uh, yeah, I wanted to use them on the layout. So I needed to fussy cut them out. <coughs> Um, this is totally fun and totally um, yeah, relaxing like the painting part, um, but I think I will stop on one point and um, then I will work on my layout. The picture I am scrapping today is f uh, showing my little one on the bike and I took that picture and I was also driving the bike, I think. The, yeah. And we just went uh, out for one of our long um, tours with a with a bike and um, this picture. I think it's nearly five years old, but it's um, one of my favorites and it was taken in the fall time and so totally matching my theme. Um, yeah, now just getting the leaves ready and then I will um, stop and we'll fussy cut them out and um, then I will work on my layout. <clears throat> so here you can see all of the leaves are done and I totally love them. I love the colors. I love, I just love how they are looking. And uh, now my, my design idea for the page was to create um, a mixed media background with a white circle inside and so I just um, 
used one circle as a shape to cover up um, my background. And uh, yeah, now I'm just using some of the colors I have used before for the colorings from the leaves. <clears throat> And then I will start to um, create kind of a leaf um, circle, a wreath, but this was um, kind of tricky because I had no idea where <laughs> where I want to have um, yeah, the direction and the colors and um, I think I worked on this page over, over two days maybe because it was just um, not working on one point and so yeah, sometimes you just need to stop and rethink everything. So um, this is the background I'm I will work with, and now I'm bringing in the leaves, <clears throat> and yeah, just um, trying to find the perfect places. And I I wanted to have um, nearly the same amount of leaves on each side, and so I'm I needed to balance uh, the the wreath and. Um, and I love, I really love how that is looking. Just um, trying, yeah, just laying everything down and here I was thinking about another picture, different, but I will stay with this one. And uh, then I will grab the chipboard stickers from Create Paper, the, the alpha stickers. And uh, yeah, my I had some different ideas for my title and so this will change um, as I go but um, I love I totally love how the um, crate paper stickers or thickers are matching the colors from the um, from the shimmers paints I used today and from the indigo hill collection it's just everything is just um, perfect and um, now I will have a look into the little die cuts from the Indigo Hill 2 collection, but um, there was not, um, yeah, I just wanted to add a few details because um, the freeze is um, quite busy and so I'm just having a look for some uh, nice extras. Yeah, I was thinking about um, some flowers, but I will not use any of them. But I will uh, use some chipboard stickers from um, Indigo Hill 2 from the Pink Fresh Studio Collection. And I'm going with a big leaf wreath. And um, this was giving me the next um, problem. <laughs> so I needed to um, think about a great way to use both of them. And... Um, yeah, I will, I will work on that and I will um, stop on one point and then you will um, see what I have ended up with. Yeah, so um, yeah, here you can see everything is glued down. I have added um, one of the die cuts, a cloud with the word dream on top of the picture. And I have also used three chipboard hearts and um, my title will be um, adventure, but the German uh, word for that. And um, yeah, just um, sticking the title down and uh, next to that, I'm not sure about what I will do, but I will add um, some stitches to the word um, to my title. And I will also use one of the um, self-adhesive stickers, the colored wood pieces. And I decided to go with the dark blue one that said um, love you, I think. And the um, light blue one I'm trying to find a place for right now is, um, let me think, real life. I think it was real life. <clears throat> and I have used a lot of uh, foam tape and pop dots for the wreath because I wanted to have um, some dimension and I, um, I love how that is looking. Um, I have added the stitching to my title and now I'm, um, I have also added one orange die cut piece from the Indigo Hill 2 collection and these are some animal dots we got in the last kit or the kit before, I'm not pretty sure, but it was, um, or it is, um, they are also from Pink Fresh Studio and they are totally matching the colors I have, um, on my paper and so I'm just 
adding um, some yellow ones, some light orange ones, and some of the purple ones, I think. And yeah, I am I am nearly done. I will add some. I'm not pretty sure what. I think I will add some dark blue splatters and some black hearts because. Because of what? I, I'm, I'm not pretty sure. But I wanted to bring in some black. Yeah. And now I will grab um, the Oki Beer Blue, the Inklings um, Shimmers Paints. And I will um, water that down so that I can add some darker splatters around um, the leaves. And that's it. I am totally happy. I love how that is looking. I love um, the leaves, how they turned out. And um, yeah, I hope you like it too. And thanks so much for um, stopping by for watching for liking for commenting you know i am uh yeah thank you so much for that you will get some final pictures and a close-up and that's it bye